hey, hey, hey. Today we are going to do traditional roast potatoes in good old fashioned oil. Yes, this is my wife's grand's famous family recipe. And whenever we get together as a family or on special occasions, roasties come out of the closet. No, they don't really come out of the closet. They come out of the potato bag. So we're gonna do a couple of things in parallel. We're going to get the oven onto 425. We're then going to put around about uh, three quarters of a inch of oil into a dish. Get the dish into the oven, right? So we wanna give the oil the most amount of time for heating up. Then we get a pot of water and we're gonna put that onto the stove and we need to get that to be boiling. Um, once we have those two things, we peel our potatoes, cut our potatoes, wash the potatoes, right? So you wanna get the starch out the potato before it boils. When cutting the potato, cut the potato in approximately one inch chunks. This gives you a great bite to potato ratio. Boil it for five minutes. The five minutes is more of a blanching, more than boiling or cooking the potatoes. So you want it to be cooked on the outside, but still raw on the inside, um, because it's going to, you need to have the firmness. The secret in doing roast potatoes is the dryness of the potato. The potatoes are completely dry. Um, you can actually see that they are already cooked on the outside. They are not completely soft, so they are a little bit firm. That's perfect, right? Because the oven's at 425 and they're going to cook for about an hour. So don't stress going, oh my word, the potato's got to be cooked. If the potatoes are fully cooked now, they'll just turn into mush an hour later. So you need the firmness for them to remain and retain the firmness. Let's get them in the oven. taken these delicious roasted potatoes out of the oven and they are looking spectacular. If you guys have never seen this before, it's called Herbie Mari. It is a salt replacement that is filled with lots of herbs and vegetables and seaweed and all the other cool stuff that goes with it. Um, we sprinkle it over the potatoes it gives it a awesome flavor, very different to conventional salt. These potatoes are looking scrumptious. How beautiful are these potatoes? Check at this. Just incredible, beyond, beyond awesome. Just amazing. Oh! Looking forward to getting this into my mouth. Holy moly. If you guys have watched me doing burning.com on my other potato video, I will not be repeating the same thing in just getting the thing out the oven and just putting it in my mouth to burn myself. So let me just give it a couple of seconds to just cool down. And while this is cooling down, if you haven't seen that video, I will put a link in for you to watch that video. It is a potato and onion with herbs grilled in the oven. Mm. The crispiness, the crunch. Oh, and it is perfectly perfectly well done perfectly done just brilliant mm. 
try this. You will not look back. Super simple. Peel the potatoes, boil them for around about five minutes, get the oven at 425, put the oil into the oven as you put the oven on. Be careful, trust me on this. If you spill the oil on your body, you will be burnt and you will have chaotic burns. Trust me on it. Don't do stupid. I know someone, not naming any names, that did stupid, so giving you a heads up. Put the potatoes in the oil every few minutes, like 10 minutes or so. Keep on twirling and whirling them around. Keep them in the oven for about an hour, hour 20 until they're golden brown. Get them out of the oil, put them into a bowl, let them rest. Put salt, put Herbie Mari on, and you will have a delicious roasted potato. Mm. Just awesome. And on that note, catch you guys on the next one. Mm-hmm.